everybody, Kitsune Haruri here and welcome to my channel. As you know, it's the beginning of the spooky season, or at least it, in my book it started at the beginning of September. Uh, but anyway, for me, September is decorating season and prep season. And for you as well, you may be looking already for some of your things you need for Halloween. Well, today I'm going to show you some of what I've been finding, um, although it's been a little bit scarce in this area. Uh, for some reason, we just don't have a lot of Halloween stuff getting delivered to the stores. Not like they seem to be having out west. So I've seen some other videos, and they've been finding a lot more than I've been finding. But that's not to say we don't have anything yet. Hopefully, cross your fingers, we'll get some more in later. But, in preparation for spooky season, here's a few things that I have found in the local stores and online. So the first thing that I found, which unfortunately with the way my camera sits, it's hard to see, so I'll just do this. I have been to Tea Turtle and have found some of the cutest little Halloween shirts, including not only the Halloween kitty shirt that I'm wearing, but also a candy corn kitsune, which you may see in some videos later. Uh, I've also been to the Ohio Renaissance Festival and visited some of the glass makers and have found some really, really nice glass pumpkins and other items. It's, if you're in the area, if you're going, it's well worth checking out. Bring your wallet. You're going to want to spend a lot. Now, as for regular stores, which you might find in other parts of the country, for those of you who may not be here, what, you know, those who are watching my videos, you might be in another state. You may not get to what's close to me. I have visited several stores, including Dollar Tree, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and Bath and Body Works. And here's some of those things that I have found. First of all, let's visit Bath and Body Works. Now, of course, they have their usual line of pumpkin scented lovely things in soaps, lotions, and hand sanitizers. Which, for me, I have always stocked up on the hand sanitizers because, as we well know, spooky season is also just the beginning of everybody gets sick from everything passing by season. Not including, but this year now including, you know what. We're not talking about that today. So, at Bath and Body, I picked up two certain little items that just drew my attention that are outside of my usual things. One is the Bath and Body Works Happy Halloween Vampire Blood Scented Diamond Shimmer Mist. Now, I know it's really hard to see with the glare because it does have an iridescent bottle. There is a really nice fine mist of shimmer. It looks really nice on your hair or body and doesn't seem to leave too much sticky residue. And the smell is really unique. It is a sweet fruity kind of smell. Um, it's very light. It's not a heavy scent. So if you don't wear a lot of perfumes normally, it shouldn't be offensive to you. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a bag full of Halloween candy. Really nice product. Very shimmery. I'm wearing a little bit of it now, but my camera isn't sensitive enough to catch a lot of it. In person, you see it much better. So that's my number one thing. The second thing that I got from Bath and Body Works was some of their foaming hand soap. Now, I don't particularly like foaming soap, but I'm willing to try this because it sounded interesting. This is the Bath and Body Works Sugared Spell. My earring just fell off. Sugared Spell Gentle Fa Foaming Hand Soap with Essential Oils. As you can see, the bottle, yes, is white, but it also has iridescent moons and crystals and crystal balls and candles and all sorts of decorations for Halloween. And the smells pretty good. It doesn't, it's not the vanilla sugar, but it's kind of close to it. Uh, but a nice scent, and I'll be putting this in and using it here pretty soon, as soon as I'm done with my apple cider scented stuff. Now, there are a lot of other items at Bath & Body, decorative items as well, th dispensers. There's, you know, some of the white barn candles, and they're worth having a look at. They usually have just the right scents to set the ambience for whatever you're doing for the holiday. 
All right, moving right along. Since I started off with some body stuff, I'm going to continue on with that because I had one more item, but this one came from Dollar Tree. Now at Dollar Tree, I saw this and I'm testing it out currently to see how well it goes. So far, I've been satisfied. LA Colors Glows Color Craze Nail Polish. I got the purple and it says here on the little sticker that it glows under black light. Now the first thing I look for in a nail polish is how well does it go on? Well, I'm testing it as I said, so I've got it on one nail and with two coats, I've got a nice, dark, very shiny coat. It went on very nicely. It dried quickly. The next thing I'm looking for is durability. Now, I put this on yesterday since I have taken shower. I've dug around in the, in the plants. I've done a little bit of crafting. I've done dishes, including the cast iron pots and pans. By the way, I do mine by hand. Cast iron pots and pans with a steel scrubby and I have zero chipping. That stuff is on there good. It is very, very nice. It's not dulled or anything. So, so far, what I've got is a good product. It cost me a buck at Dollar Tree. Can't go wrong with it. If it didn't work out, it wasn't that big of a deal, but so far, I'm very satisfied. Moving along to other items that I have gotten from Dollar Tree, I found these two absolutely lovely iridescent skulls. They are porcelain. They are both iridescent, though one's black and one's white. Mine's a little chipped, but that doesn't matter because I'm planning on making them into other things. They're good for display as is. I mean, a buck, again, pretty good quality too. You can find a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree for the holidays, I've found. I'm going to be making these into something else myself, but if you just want to display them as is, they would look perfectly fine. Nice little product. Also a dollar each. I keep saying that, but I mean, how can you go wrong for a buck? The last thing that I got from Dollar Tree that I wanted to mention may seem a little bit odd for holidays, but a complete set of gaming dice in this orangey, molten looking, fiery color. Why am I holding this up for Halloween? Well, here's one thing. If you want to, don't have a lot of trick-or-treaters and want to give away a good treat that isn't candy, one dollar, nice and cheap. If you want to use them for some sort of decoration or you can make jewelry out of them like earrings and things or the other thought that I had was wouldn't it be great to have a nice game of Ravenloft for your Halloween party some sort of gaming thing these could also be used as scatters in your Halloween decor depending on what your theme is Dollar Tree and they are a good set they seem to be I haven't opened it, but they're rolling properly, so I don't think they've got bubbles or anything in them. So, that's good option. And also a very nice color. So now, moving on from Dollar Tree, I'm going to make the brief pause at the Hobby Lobby. Unfortunately, a couple of years back, they stopped doing Halloween, per se. They do still have fall and Thanksgiving. And they have an awful lot of items that still have Halloween colors in the black, green, purple, and so on. And they also still have patterns for Halloween costumes. One of the items that I found, and I've already started modifying it for what I want to do to it, are these really, really adorable glass pumpkin jars. I'm a sucker for a pumpkin. I'm twice as much a sucker for a glass pumpkin. They have a nice little lid on them. They're just like the big ones that you would see at like Walmart or something. And as you can see, I have already glued a candle holder into the middle of it because I'm going to decorate this up with some little bits of fill and maybe something floral and put a battery operated tea light in it. These could be used for candy. You can have different varieties of candy at your party and ready to serve. 
Um, and they could stay out. You know, you put them out for fall in general, you're all good all the way up through Thanksgiving with this. So that's a nice, easy little thing. It's also a good item to use for crafting projects. It's a good heavy glass, and it can last you a good long time. So that was from Hobby Lobby. <coughs> I did forget one thing from Dollar Tree because it totally skipped over my mind. It is listed under their floral garden items. So it may or may not be available at this time of year in your store, but keep an eye out for them during the summer and spring. And I think you could use this for many different ho holidays. I love seeing these displays done in the glass cloche because you can do everything with them. You can do anything from specimen displays, bugs, whatever, flowers. You can do a creepy scene in them. You can make them look like a snow globe. If you know how to seal it, you can make it into a real snow globe. And I found these. They are plastic, but they're a nice clear plastic, so it's not overbearing. It could be painted for the base, or you can leave it alone and put anything in there that you would like. I'm planning on doing some sort of little scene inside of these, but I haven't decided yet. Anyway, I found two of them, once again for a buck, worth the trip, worth the cost, and you can make something really awesome. So the next place that I went was Michael's. Uh, Michael's and ours is starting to get things in, but they're looking pretty skimpy too. Um, but you could still order from them online and get a hold of a lot of these things that maybe aren't available on your store shelves. One of the things that I found, which I intend to do a lot of work on, are these big wooden cutouts. They're about an inch across, maybe an inch and a half, and they're great for making little signs and scenes. They'll stand up on their own. I've got a coffin a cat, and a cute little witch's hat. Now I paid roughly eight bucks for a couple of these, but I got them on sale. Because there's always a sale on it, Michaels, so you can get them cheaper. And with a little bit of paint and not a lot of time, you could just do these a solid color. You can get some really nice decorations out of these. The other thing that I had found there, which I really, really, I waited. I almost waited too long because I went back in and there was only one of each left. Apparently they're a hot item for Michaels this year. Are these absolutely gorgeous glass coffin boxes. They have metal edging. They're made out of thin glass panes. And they came in two sizes. This was the small. And here's the larger one. I absolutely fell in love with these for a couple of reasons. One, I'm a doll collector. And I actually have a couple of spooky dolls here and there. The other is, this could be used for a display case for some little tiny trinkets and Halloween items. Now, I thought for a moment about using them for maybe candy or something, but they're very thin glass, so I'd be a little nervous about people opening and closing it a lot. But for a display case, that is absolutely beautiful. If you do a lot of gothic aesthetic, this would be a beautiful thing in your home. You can maybe use it to keep some of your jewelry or you know, personal decoration on in, some of your makeups, or you can make a display up on a shelf with it. The possibilities are infinite. But that was one of my favorites. Now this larger one, if you don't get it on sale, is about 30 bucks. And the smaller one would be about 20. I did get them on sale. I think they were maybe 40% off when I got them. Because I'm me, of course it was on sale. But these are absolutely beautiful, very much worth getting. Now I do have one more item, so let me go and grab that real quick, 
and I will show that to you as well. All right, I almost forgot about this in the other room. Uh, this was actually the first item I found for Halloween this year, coming out of Michael's. And there are two versions of it. I went with the one that was a little more plain because I wanted to be able to use it at different times of year. And it's this lovely piece. It is basically a shelf. There are three levels to it. The other version of it comes with like a moon and star up here. And they're a pretty good size item. They do sell little miniature items to fill it up with, but I have intentions of using it for very small dolls or maybe even displaying some other spooky items. But I couldn't resist this. Now, the original price was about $25. Again, I got it at about 40% off. So it's going to be much cheaper. And it is on the website because when I showed this to some people online, they came up and went, hey, I found the other one. I have not set it up yet. I am assuming that I can set it up without gluing it together permanently, though it does recommend that you glue it. So when you do get this, if you want it to be permanent, make sure you get yourself some glue to put it together with. But that lovely little piece is definitely one of my favorite finds. Anyway, those were just some of the items that I've been finding for Halloween this year. Uh, if you found anything that has been extra interesting or special to you, let us know back down here in the comments and share the wealth. We're all out here hunting for our Halloween because this year we want our holidays back. We want to be able to celebrate. We want to be able to decorate. We want to get out and get dressed up. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you've been seeing, please like, share, uh, hit the notification bell if you would like to do that. And subscribe because there are more videos I do post weekly. Again. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.